young and gon' get to the bus. You don't wanna see, see this slide up out that cut. You know it's for real, them boys get What's up, Kane's family? Back in with another video. It's time to kick off the college weekend, y'all. I know it ain't the games we wanna watch today or tomorrow, whatever. Um, but they got a few games coming on today. Y'all check them out. I think Nebraska and them playing, uh, Connecticut and all the other teams, you know. They ain't so be playing today, but, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to talk to y'all today about, I watched the spring game of Alabama. I just wanted to go ahead and break down what I've seen and what I was paying attention to with the commentators and, uh, what a couple of players were saying from Alabama themselves this ain't me making it up this is stuff that i actually heard them say if y'all didn't watch it yourselves you have to pay attention to the dynamic of the players and what you see compared to what they used to be looking like every other spring game and during the season um so i was watching the game i see that the offensive line they're they're normal size offensive line guys but they're not like big, strong, you know, like the other past offensive linemen they used to have, like real looking strong and really manhandling uh, kind of offensive linemen. These guys are literally this type of offensive linemen we're used to going and with going against. That you know we got a good chance. Our defensive linemen got a good chance of making plays. I seen. I was paying attention to that and, and come to find out because they was interviewing. Um, What's the little Mac Mac Jones and uh, the offensive lineman from last season, and <clears throat> the guy, the offensive guy, offensive lineman that they were talking to, I forgot his name. That was uh talk, you know, in the conference, well, conference thing they had going on, on the field. That guy was big as hell. Okay, he was big all around. Like he was bigger than the guys that's on the damn, that was on the damn field. Uh, from, from me looking at weight and, and stuff comparison. And they didn't look the same. And he was talking about how this this group of five that they got is all new, and kind of well, kind of mixed up and new. So they got to get used to each other. And that's what he, that's what the big guy was saying that uh, he was going to the NFL. I forgot his name. But far as that that right there is going to be an issue for them. Uh, a lot of passes that I seen Bryce Young throw was overhead. Some was oh, a lot of them was overhead and uh, behind and uh, and he was getting sacked a lot. That was that's one thing I was paying attention to because the offensive lineman that it, that that was the starting offensive lineman, and I really don't think they they don't have the their real true starter offensive lineman out there on that spring that on that spring game. But it doesn't matter. <clears throat> it don't matter about how they were playing at that moment in time. I'm looking at their body size and are they movable? For our defensive line, and I, and far as I came close to the conclusion of that, yes, they are. I think our defensive lineman can can get a push, get a push, or get a swim move for Nessie to go back in. Yes, I believe that. So, with that being said, I was checking out Bryce Jones. If he get pressure, he's gonna make bad decisions. I've been I, I peeped that out. I've been felt that he's gonna do that anyway. But he's going to make bad decisions. If he don't have enough time, he's going to make bad decisions. He might get away with a few lucky passes. And I do mean lucky because when I seen the spring game, those were some lucky-ass passes that he got off after he got sacked. Because of the fact is, in the spring game, y'all know, once the player touches the quarterback, a defender gets there and touches the quarterback in the backfield, he's supposed to, the, the play's supposed to die. But, you know, a lot of times they let the play continue on to see what's going to happen afterwards. But most of the time, Bryce Jones is getting sacked. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. The offensive line is not gonna be. It's not. It's not there. It's not like I used to be. And I see how Nick Saban was sitting there looking. He looked kind of concerned about his offensive line. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up. He ain't gonna say it, but I'm telling y'all. Go look at that spring game again. Um, far as they wide receivers, they got some pretty good wide receivers. Can't knock that at all. They really do got some good wide receivers. Um, also, what what? Thrive me. I'm gonna go in the defense. I'm gonna go to defense. Okay, the defensive line they got, they got a couple, they got a couple of dogs up there. They got a couple of dogs on that defensive line. Or well, yeah, two of them. That I know for sure. That gets the pressure. No lie. But the linebackers, they ain't the same. They ain't the same as the other ones. The 
They ain't the same as the other one. They ain't gonna get it. They ain't gonna. They ain't gonna be that. I, like it's supposed to be one that they talked about that was supposed to be impactful, but this other guy named Tua Tua, or whatever his name is, they 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 don't know what to expect from him. So that's not a good thing to hear, especially in a spring game that's televised. You don't want to hear nothing about like that. But you know it's just a spring game, y'all. Remember that. But the linebackers are not not like uh not no Upshaw and stuff like you know some real big linebackers. They, these guys are literally like. Uh, striker position linebackers, outside linebackers, if you want to call them, playing in middle linebacker and stuff like that. So we, that middle linebacker part, our tight ends have murdered that. Um, they secondary, they was getting burnt. Yeah, and uh, they was, they was, it was a lot of miscommunication. I see they, they ain't got that down pack. They ain't had that down pack in the spring. Game. It, it probably changed, probably changed. By when they play us the first game, it might it might change. Hopefully, because you don't do a lot of practice and other scrimmages. Hopefully, for they say it changes because what I seen in that spring game, that secondary is is not gonna keep up with our wide receivers. They're not gonna they're gonna get confused. Okay, and I seen how Bryce Bryce Jones was e easily able to slide through the middle of a lot of them damn uh them lot of plays when he can run himself. So that's not a good thing for them because if if King get loose, it's over with. Um, I think our tight end is going to have a hell of a game. Because that middle is open a lot. Okay? That middle is open a lot. Uh, deep passes, I believe we can burn them. They only got one defensive back that's pretty damn good. The other defensive back, they're questionary. We got to see if they're going to pull up on games, huh? Um, but, but that can change. Like I said, anything can change as far as play-wise. But, but the... Techniques and mechanic wise, they got it, they got it, they hopefully they don't got it together by the by, by the first game. Just saying. I'm not saying I'm not putting down Alabama because of Alabama, you know. I'm just, I'm not saying it because I'm a Kane fan. I'm just telling y'all what I seen is not the same Alabama team that I don't see in different spring games and stuff. Well maybe like, dang, oh, and then the points wasn't even that high. It was like thirteen to ten. And normally Alabama and they pre in they, in they uh scrimmage game it goes to twenties 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 or thirties or something like that, and it didn't even go that high. So that's not a good thing. They back up quarterback, he was pretty okay, decent, but he was throwing the ball kind of behind him. And if you and fucking with us, well, our state's gonna come on and jump that son of a bitch, and you know, he's gonna pick that son of a bitch off. So a lot of passes, y'all. It's gonna be a lot of passes that might be intercepted. Um, for us, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get a lot of interceptions. I feel. Um, I'm trying to think of everything I was I was looking at it. I really looked at it, and I and uh, they said Nick Saban. Uh, Nick Saban said at his own mouth that if they do their job, then they can be good. They can be per. They can be great or good or something like that. Or perfect or something. All they gotta do is do their job. So that means right there that tells me that they kind of like how we are, inconsistent. And a lot of them players were quick to put their hands on their hips quick. So, it's the first game of the season. Y'all get ready for this shit. Cause this shit finna be, it finna be a game. This is gonna be a game, especially the first game of the season. I don't, if I was down, Bill O'Brien, whatever his name is, that guy gonna make them look bad. I feel like, I feel like Nick Saban gonna get rid of his ass after the first season. That's just me. Cause a lot of them play was too long to develop. They take too long to develop. Just like he did at Texans. Take too long to develop. But other than that, uh, I feel like we got a great chance of winning. Not just because I'm a Canes fan, but just saying, just looking at what they got, it's not nothing impressive. Same thing with uh, Clemson. It, it's nothing impressive. There's nobody standing out to me. Other than Alabama's tight end, that's a, that's a big guy. But other than that, that's it, y'all. I mean, Alabama fan, y'all just think y'all gonna win it because of the fact is y'all won a next championship last year. Y'all might think it's reload, but every reload ain't a good reload. I'm just saying, you know, everybody has their error and run. I don't think I don't know. It might be y'all. It might be y'all last chance. Or last season might be y'all last one. Why right, y'all for the check on that, man? Remember, hit stick, bust stick. We deserve victory. It's always great to be a Miami Hurricane. And I will be dropping another video later for college game day later on. 
All right, y'all, man. Y'all be blessed.